Like, Lar like these cards are going to be hit. Like, these all come with 25. Oh, these come with 20 halves. So, like, these cards genuinely are beasts. Like, no way these come out early. Like, Dr. 93 ball. 98 dunk. Like, these are perfect cards. Timmy D. Like, Timmy D will be able to shoot. 79 three ball. That's fine. 98 block. 84 speed, like. Change shot time release early. Yeah, I've done that. I've done that. I've done that. Don't worry. I've, you really think I haven't done that? Like. You really think I haven't done that? Vice, vice grip? He's got hot vice grip, lads. Go to sleep schedule. So I don't know. I've, I've been awake since 3 in the morning. Off one hour of sleep and I plan on going 24 hours. 98 three ball for Larry. Larry's release is awful though, but still. Clyde Drexler. So this is the card I'm probably going to go for season one. I mean, I think I might have a, have a dude here that I'm happy with. Vice Grip Hoff's going to be needed, you know it. Like, half quick for a step, hot, go bully, catch and shoot. Clyde might be like, Clyde might be that dude that we have to go and get. CP3 is a six foot tall point guard. Like, I don't think anyone's actually gonna be like super, super hyped on a CP3. I really don't think that, if we're being honest. Like 97 speed, 97 speed ball, 97 acceleration, 97 lateral. Um, Anthony Davis. Doesn't even have a player picture yet. 85 three ball though. 80 is pretty good. 80 ball handle. 80 might be the most well-rounded. We're get we can get you can get this big in season one. In season one, you can have a card like this. This is Opal. This is 250k Opal AD. I'm not even joking. This is 250k Opal AD. Half interceptor. No nah, man, he is. He's he's Himothy. He's him. He's him. AD is him. They're grindable, but you have to get tokens. You have to get tokens. Patrick Ewing, he's Ewing's gonna be really good. Can Ewing shoot? 75 three bucks. Ewing has a huge player build. 89 block. I probably would avoid Ewing. I'm not gonna lie. He reminds me of Pink Diamond Ewing from 21. I got 15 halves are nice, but I would avoid Ewing. If I were to be completely honest. Um, Jimmy Buckets. Jimmy Buckets. The only issue with Jimmy is that he fades away on his jump shots. 80 driving dunk. 86 ball handle. Really good defense. Good speed. 96 lateral. Okay, not bad. Gilbert's going to be him, though. Actually, does Jimmy come with, like, clamps and stuff? Because Jimmy might be... He might be best lock. Half bully, half clamps, half interceptor. Like, these guys... Like, Scotty's going to be good. But, like, these guys... Make Scotty look bang average. Gilbert's got a lot of good... Obviously, Gilbert is agent 3. 94, 3 by 85 dunk. I mean, Gilbert's release is good. Gilbert's going to be really good. AD Jimmy Clyde. I mean, you can only choose one this season. I'd go Clyde. I go Clyde. The reason I go Clyde is because if you look at Clyde's set, he's got um, Sabonis. Like you get Arvita Sabonis to get Clyde, and it's your you Arvita Sabonis and Kembe are gonna be your centers to like December. These cards are so, but these are not easy to get. By the way, like you're not gonna be. By the way, like, these are going to be available. Not everyone's getting these cards straight away. Like, this... To grind for one of these cards is probably about 24 hours. Like, you, we're not just going to be out here one week into this game with five of these cards. Like, just because they're available, I think we're going to be grinding these for a long time. Like, I know he's got 46 speed, but, like, he is our Vita Sabonis. 7 foot 3 with a 92 3 ball. 10 hops, like, rise up drop stepper. That was the Claymore badge. 
Knock down perimeter shots when spotting up, so... Freaking saturator. And half brick wall. At 7-3. The Kembe is just going to be that big body. He's going to dominate on the inside with a 98 block. Still quite slow, though. Gordon Hayward. 93 ball, 86 ball handle. Gordon Hayward's jack of all trades. He's no weakness. Like, he has absolutely no weakness, Gordon Hayward. Russell Westbrook. Mediocre three ball. Good perimeter defense. Super speed with 95 lateral. And obviously, a lot of his rim running badges. Including half clamp breaker, which could be so tough to stop. While he's RBX, he's going to be a sniper. Sniper who can actually play some alright defense. 86 lateral is pretty good. There's no token cards. There's no token cards. Token cards are just current cards. Um, as far as Atlantic goes, I would probably avoid this set, to be honest. Or Alan Iverson's really good. You just don't get, like, the range of players. Like, you got a good spot up. You got a really good spot up. The only issue is that Bargnani's really slow. Bargnani's way too slow. Mikhail's an all-around good card because he comes with a three-ball. He comes with a Dino wingspan. Like, Kevin Mikhail has... A 7-11 wingspan. Really solid speed for a center or power forward. Like, he could be a nice player. Does he come with half bully or anything? Half dream shake. Post game matters. Dream shake into a fade is going to be OP. He comes with half interceptor. Now, Mikhail could be that dude. Richard Jefferson's insanely good as well. Like, all around stats-wise, you're looking at a perfect wing. You're looking at basically a perfect wing. So, like, Ewing is the worst reward, but, like, I heard Iverson is elite. Half clamp breaker, killer crossover. And um, quick first step. Clamps, interceptor. See the stats? Like, 97 mid range, 91 three ball, 85 driving dunk, 89 perimeter, 97, 93 lateral. I mean, Iverson's a small, but he looks elite. And Jeremy Lin, 89 three ball, good see, good defense, really good speed as well, decent height. And Jeremy Lin looks as good as Westbrook, I'm not going to lie. He does look as good as Westbrook. Here would have been Jermaine O'Neal's him. 73 three ball. 86 ball handle on Jermaine O'Neal, wow. 83 speed. Jermaine O'Neal's that dude. There is a 0% chance I'm making this 24 hours, by the way. I am not lasting 24 hours here. I might last till embargo. I might actually struggle after embargo, I'm not going to lie. Brick wall. Hall of Fame. Okay, he looks good. And he looks good. We'll go through all these before I go through Limitless. 92 three ball for rip. Good speed. 90 lateral. Blinders catch and shoot. He never comes at range, does he? Is it just... Is the 2K just not, like, giving limitless range to um, him? Does he have... Yeah, 2K just never give him limitless range. Big Z. 88 three ball, 7-3. So we're looking at... Thing. Alright, Sabonis 2.0. This might be the this might be the move this side here. Rose is an 84 three ball. No, this row this might be it. This might be the one. This honestly might be the one. Limitless take off. This might be the one, lads. This might be the one. I'm telling you, the the Jimmy will might be the one. I mean, Alonzo Mourning's Alonzo Mourning. He's going to be a scrub. 74 three ball, undersized center. 85 speed, that's pretty good. James, I don't know what his release is, but he goes in a 93 ball. No ball handle, no defense, no speed, really. Tim Hardaway, six foot point guard. Not going to be up to much. Richard Lewis, 95 three ball. Okay. 86 ball handle. 
84 speed, 81 speed ball, 84 acceleration, 80, 90, 81 lateral. All right, he's nice, but I wouldn't like go way over the way for him. Oh, did I forget Brandon Jennings? Shifty as anything. Um, really good speed, good shooting. In terms of badges, he comes with the lead salute badge. He comes with the leads badge. Um, comeback kid, by the way, is a uh, Leeds United made a fo made a badge that looked almost exactly like that. So yeah, that's why I'm gonna call it the Leeds badge. For the rest of the year, it's gonna be the Leeds badge. James is 36 strength. Yeah, he's not, gonna play, he's not there for defense. I mean, he's got a cook. He's got a cook on offense. Not gonna play defense. I'm guessing Corey versus a spot up. 98 three ball. Decent ball handle. Good defense. Speed, not horrific. Not great lateral. Does he have half limitless? No. He's just gonna be another dude, to be honest. He's good. He's good. He's just gonna be another dude, though. Elton Brand. And I gave Elton Brand a He's an undersized 68. Or he, Elton Brand's a garbage man. <laughs> Elton Brand's a garbage man. Steve Nash. Good three balls. He can't dunk. Good ball handle. Good steel perimeter defense. Good speed. Good lateral. I like his badges. Blinders. No limitless spot up isn't great. He's gotten silver. Worthy. If Worthy has a 80. Worthy's really good, by the way. Worthy's really good. Really good on defense. Good in the post. Good on the inside. Good speed. Worthy's really, really good. Pool. Look, I don't care. Pool's animations are awful. Doesn't play defense. His shooting's good. Good speed, speed ball, and acceleration. Good lateral. Apeja. 97 three ball. Okay. Service More than serviceable defense. Good interior. Solid speed. A small forward to start the game. No, this AD set's pretty good, not gonna lie. This AD set is pretty good. And this is the one I would just dodge, because Chris Paul is the reward. So Zebo. Zebo's gonna suck. Finley? Now Finley's gonna be good, like good, really good defense, good shooting, good speed. He looks very similar to Richard Jefferson. He's like a more offensive Richard Jefferson. Manu's movement in this game is really good. His is um, release really good. Obviously, he's got the lead salute badge, um, ankle breaker, clamp breaker, handles for days, killer combos. Manu might be, Manu might be the sauce. 92 speed. Man, these cards are going to be good up to Season 3. Like, These cards are legit going to be good up to Season 3. I don't think any of these are going to be available today, one, by the way. I think you have to, like, get... As far as I'm aware, you need to, like, get rings at a limit. You have to do play limited for these, even. Stevie Franchise might be better than Rose. Depending on release... He might, he might be up there with Rose, not gonna lie. And Ingram's really good. If CP3 wasn't the reward for this one, I would suggest going for this. Ingram is just solid. Ingram's good. So I would say the best one is to go for either AD, because you get Nash is alright, but you get Worthy and Page who are really good. And AD is the best of all the Opals. Clyde is really good, but you don't, you get Westbrook. But like, I would probably go Jimmy, honestly, because you get yourself an Ongauskas. Jimmy's probably not going to be as good as Clyde, but I would probably say Jimmy is probably the best option to go for straight away. 